And tonight I'm going to teach you how to make the traditional Chinese steamed dim sum that you have in Yangsha. Um, it's pretty easy, and I will show. I will first show you how to make the dough. Um, okay, so we have flour here, some white sugar, some salt, and we have dried yeast I bought from Woolworths. So first of all, because we only have three people for dinner tonight. Um, don't eat much. About seven spoons of plain flour. Next, we're going to add a sprinkle of white sugar and a sprinkle of salt into the flour. Don't worry about mixing right now. And here's a glass of warm water, about body temperature. Really. And then you add approximately four teaspoons of dry yeast. Mixing it well. The water can't be too hot or too cold, otherwise the yeast will just die out and your dough can't be fluffy and soft. Mixing well, pour into the Now just try to mix the dough with your hand. Don't worry about getting your hands being messed around. It's always the work. As you can see, the white flour is now well, well mixed into a nice, soft, smooth ball, um, and we shall let it ferment. And I have a wet cloth here, as you probably always need it. Just cover it on top and let it sit aside. And we shall proceed to make the filling. So today I have. Carrot, um, three mushrooms, bingo that you would usually get from Asian groceries easily. And thank you, Mum. Mum just picked some lovely fresh shallots from our backyard. Pork meat and some preserved vegetables. Really, any kind. If you go to Asian grocery, it says, I would like to have some preserved vegetables. And that's what they get you. So nicely cut the carrots into small pieces. But you wouldn't want to cut the carrots too small as they still want the crunchy and juicy lovely carrot flavour when you bite the dumpling later on. So maybe Something that big would do. So that's all the veggies, carrots, mushrooms, shallots, and baker. And this is the preserved vegetables. No need to chop it. Well, you can if you want, but that's going to be very messy indeed. And the mains. Well, if you are a meaty person, then maybe a whole pack or half a pack. But since we only have three people eating, so I'm going to put one third of 
automate. Right, sauce to pour in. I've got some light soy sauce here. Two, maybe two tablespoons. And I've got some dark soy sauce here, not too much, and then maybe one teaspoon. This is to just give a little colour to the filling. So it appears to be red and looks fresh and very meaty like, even though we didn't put too much meat in it. And most important thing, oil. This time I choose to use olive oil, only because it's a little bit more healthy. And about four to five tablespoons of olive oil in this case. The oil would mix with all the flavors the same way that the um, preserved vegetables or the veggies and gives a juicy, nice juice later in the dumplings. Now, just the mix. No need to add any salt um, as the soy sauce is perhaps salty enough. Just give it a gentle mix. And you'll see the soy sauce gives a really nice reddish color and it smells beautiful now the dough is, is being well fermented nice and big very soft if you break it a little bit you can see all those bubbles formed inside nice and soft so we're going to make the pastry as you can see I floured the a little bit just to make it easy to work now cut the dough to small pieces about that's about three centimeters per three centimeters cube. Because you need to constantly flour board, make it not sticky. And I have quite a big roller to make the pastry, so. Take a small bowl, flatten it a little, and you row on the edges while rotating it at the same time. Don't have to be perfectly round. You want the pastry in the middle to be a little bit thicker than the edges. So the fillings wouldn't come out. And we have the fillings well mixed here. I'll probably just take a, a fork. And here comes to the film bit. So I've always been teaching people use two fingers from each hand. So remember the triangle. Okay. So you grab the edges by four fingers and just gently fold it. Right to left, right to left, right to left, right to left. make this swirl at the end. And here's one dumpling made. 
another one. Again, make the pastry. Don't have to be a perfect round, really. And the edges are always a little bit thinner than the middle. Finding it gently. Make a little swirl at the end. Another one. <laughs> so now the dumplings are made. And I previously prepared some just large pieces of carrots when I was chopping them. Um, and I usually I like to put a piece of carrot underneath each dumpling when I steam them. Um, so this is just a bamboo steam my mum bought from an Asian grocery that's easy to get. You probably could get those from two dollar shops as well. Um, and I just put a wet cloth on it so you don't have to wash the bamboo steam later. And the carrots is really to prevent dumpling sticking to the cloth as it can easily happen. If you don't like carrots you can use other veggies to replace it or by simply dip the um, by simply dip the dumplings into oil and that will do as well. So that's a nice tray here. You would want to leave a few gaps um, between each dumpling as they would expand quite a bit later on. So I've boiled a, some water using the rice cooker before and I just chuck it in there. I found this is the perfect size instead of putting a steamer on a big wok as you need to put a lot of water and takes time to boil as well. So a nice little rice cooker and would fit the steamer. Now let's just wait. I think this is ready to eat after steaming it for about five to six minutes and we shall have a look. I might need my... Uh, Look at that, nice, hot, juicy and mm. very good, soft, you can taste the vegetables, the soy sauce, put the meat together and the preserved vegetables, it's wonderful. She tried, I see